I can't believe that's happened. The commentator's curse. Is it a real thing? It is time for the TikTok big break, great debate. Now, I can tell you on social media, I would have had 70 messages yesterday. David Warner out, bold Mike Hussey. That is the way the public feel. <laughs> Huss, right. Uh, righto, Binger, you are taking the negative. Gil, you are taking the affirmative that there is no such thing as the commentator's curse. Yeah, no Your such time thing. starts now. All oh, right, OK. Uh, straight in. Well, in Test Match Cricket, Howie, yes. 4,280 centuries in the history of the game. Yep. I also got the stats to put uh, statisticians to look into how many times it's been mentioned when they're in the 90s, oh, yes. and they've got out 42 times. So 1%. <laughs> Now, that is not a curse. That's a coincidence on 42 occasions, but 4,280 times. That, there's no curse there. Think of the longevity of the game, the history, how many years it's been going. It's just a, a little coincidence occasionally, and it happened to be Mr Cricket yesterday. No curse. You know I love you, but you've just blatantly lied to the people of Australia with those statistics. You've just picked a number out there, you've haven't you? You've picked a number out of nowhere. Are you, are you <laughs> going to question the guru, Laurie Colliver? There's no yeah. way Laurie's mm. giving you that stat. 4,280. No yeah, but what That's about the mentions? That's a lot of test matches. Mentions. That's a hit for me. What about the mentions? All right. You're uh, saying, Brett, that there is such thing as a commentator's curse. Your time starts now. Nah. Well, of course there is, because we saw it happen yesterday with Mike Hussey. He stitched him up. He said, look, he can't get out. He gets to 91, gets to 94, gets out 95. So you don't tempt fate. You don't want to stay on floor number 13. You don't want to say that this plane, you know, <laughs> plane's got good two, two great wings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, you don't walk underneath ladders. You don't tempt fate. So if someone's in the 90s, you just zip it up. Huss, don't say anything any, any, ever again, please, mate. <laughs> don't say mm. a word. So. The trophy got lost somewhere oh. between... <laughs> Probably a good thing. ...Brisbane and here. <laughs> I'm calling it a draw. I was going to give it to you, Gilly, but the fact you made up statistics, which is not the first time How we've do done you know that on that's Fox, not right. I just can't believe that is right. So we'll call that one a draw. Right. It can be a cruel game, though. This young chap in the UK, he's doing everything. His dad's umpiring and filming at the same time. Now, he gets what would be considered a pretty simple catch. Down it goes. But he's got the run out, so it's all OK. Don't worry. Oh, oh, oh absolute man. No. Got the baggy green behind oh, the stump have there, too. Look, he's made a mess oh. of it. Don't worry, I'll make you go for a run. Oh. It is a tough game. It is a tough game that you chose to dedicate your life it to. Is. Marnus Labashain loves the game of cricket. Yeah. He was out there yesterday entertaining us with his batting and with his commentary. Have a listen to this. Oh, yeah. oh ball. Yeah, well played, man. It's over. No run! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's a nice ball. No run! That's my favourite one. Oh! Oh, that's a nice delivery, but it's working. It's working. He is dominating Test cricket. Binger, how did you used to pump yourself up? Were you talking to yourself in the third person or not? No, I wasn't doing the George Costanza, but like, <laughs> if, if Minus was doing that to me and you get him, you like, shower, shower, you know, as he's walking off. But, um, pump myself up. Just some really, really good quality music before I'd go out to play, I think, just to rev me up. Yeah, fair enough too. Very hot out there today. We'll move on from that though. All right. Now, I've been promising this in the show. Cricketers... Doing ads and acting is one of my highlights. I always love it on this show. Now, for me, <laughs> you've got Shane Warne, you've got Michael Vaughan. These are elite operators, but the top of the tree, the top of the tree to this point has always been Brett Lee. He's massive in Australia. He's a wonderful actor. He's got a sense of timing. He's a good-looking man. And in India, they love him because he rolls out stuff like this. Can you tell a girl you don't know that you're the one for me? Do you walk right up or play it cool or simply let her be? Can you tell a girl you don't know that you're the one for me? Do you walk right up or play it cool or simply let her be? I know I'm different, I'm not from here, I'm just another So that's the gold standard, that's the, that, that's the top of the tree, that's as good as we have at Fox A while ago, fresh there. Until... Fresh lid. 
Until Adam Gilchrist was approached by a genuinely top-shelf television show on a different station, it must be said, the boss, Steve Crawley, gave him the all-clear to go and do a show at Channel 10. And this show is called How to Stay Married. And I was that excited when he told me he was going on this show. This is a little bit of Adam Gilchrist acting seriously alongside Lisa McCune, isn't it? Triple luggy. Gold luggy, you know? Three luggies between them, and I reckon it's going to stay that way. Have, have a look. <laughs> it goes all the way to the top. Government, finance, even publishing. How do you think Robert Patterson turns out so many books so quickly? He's got eight arms. I just never heard of the octopus people. I know about the lizard people thing. No, no, but... don't start with the lizard conspiracy. It's rubbish. It does not stack up. I mean, at the dawn of time, where the lizards around, it was the octopi. <laughs> way down in the deep blue ocean. <laughs> Let's go. Well done. But, but before we hey, go on... drop the puck yeah, too. That I, was I, a I love nice to see the outtakes of that. the cricket bat. <laughs> the bit that really got me and excited on the couch because I thought this is starting the test series, it got a bit steamy. It got a bit hot. It got a bit steamy. And Gilly had to start getting involved with Lisa McCune in a love scene being a... It was on late at night. It was a 9.35 operation. Have oh, a look no. at Captain Romantic with Lisa McCune in a bit of a love oh, scene. No. <laughs> Gilly, are they tentacles? The octopi are fascinating creatures. It's got the blood. More intuitive than humans. And M, way more sensitive. Can I touch? Oh, oh, oh. It feels different to what I expected. <laughs> what about the head of hair on our man? And my glow, 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 glow. glow. <laughs> <laughs> A bit of soul glow there too. Was it nerve wracking? Like it was a full set. It mate, was the real deal. It was frightening. <laughs> it was frightening. The things you do for mates. Peter Helliot said, "Oh, a little cameo in it." I thought, "Oh yeah, they'll be playing a game of cricket," and he'll say, oh, "I've got a mate to." fill in in the game of cricket. Five scripts turned up for five <laughs> different shows. So anyway. Did you yeah. get the keep the tentacles? They worked it out pretty quickly that um, my acting was so bad they had to uh, computer generate an image to slowly <laughs> phase me out of the show. But well done. anyway, You're a I'll good leave man. it to you. Round of applause for everyone here for Gilly. <laughs> Gold Logie on the way.